Hi guys, Todd here again with TW Home Show and today I'm going to share with you the Laricum 40 LED Solar Spotlight. We're going to go over some of the functions of these and the ease of use and how I'm going to use them in my case in my yard and I'll give you some tips and tricks that I learned. So stay tuned. And we're back with our solar spotlight for landscaping and I've got a couple ideas I'm going to use on this in my yard actually there's a few different ways that you can mount these and I'm doing mine in a most unique way I'll show you that in just a moment but first we're going to go over these and and just explain what you get now it's got a an instruction little adhesive thing here on the front of your lens and that's just telling you that the light will only work or operate and turn on if the solar panel on the top of it is completely in dark. So that's also what uh, allows the light to turn on automatically every night. Each, each night is when it turns dark outside. So when it's getting sunlight, it doesn't uh, waste its battery. It's off. So when it turns dark out, then it automatically will turn on your 40 LEDs in here guys. Now this uh, name brand Larica, this is the one I found that had the most LEDs with this uh, size and structure and a really large solar panel to recharge it during the day. Also, one other thing that makes this brand unique is you can fully charge this. You know how you get a, a solar light from Walmart or something? It's cheaply made, it's really plastic and you can like press and bend it in and stuff. This is solid, guys. This thing is a really hard case and solid, like it's gonna last for years. But on the back of here, it's got an on-off and dimness switch right here. And then right next to that, it's got a little rubber flap. And if you remove this rubber flap, just lift it, it will stay attached. But you can lift that rubber flap if you can see there. And there's a micro USB port there. And it does come with a micro USB cable. So once you plug this micro USB cable in to your port and grab a power source and you plug it in, I don't know if you saw that, it gives you a little flicker to let it know, to let you know that it has plugged in and made a connection to charge. And they suggest you fully charge these for at least eight hours before you put them outdoors for the first time. That way you're working with a full battery. It's a 2000 milliamp battery in each one of these lamps. Now, if you look at the pack, these do come in two packs and they come in a variety of colors. So I've got three colors I'm testing out today. This is the uh, cool white. They also make a warm white, which I didn't get today, but they have also a blue color and a purple color that we're gonna try out today. Now I'll tell you the white is the brightest you can get. These things are very bright. I've already hung them up in some spots. I wanna uh, point them up at my palm trees out back to highlight the palm trees that we have in the evening time to make it really beautiful out there. So I've tested some out already and I'm gonna go out there today with you during the daylight hours to give you some tips and tricks on this. But first I wanna show you the mounting procedure because there's several ways that you can mount this unique solar powered spot lamp. Oh, one more thing before we go out there, I didn't show you the brightness inside here at least. Now I've got light coming in my windows here, but let's just test them out. I'm putting them face to face to cover the whole solar panels on this. So I'm gonna turn this one on. The first click you get, that's full brightness right there. So this is full brightness. Two clicks is medium brightness. Three clicks is the lowest it will go. And then the fourth click, it's off again. Now I'll do this other color. One click. This is the blue. This is the second brightest of the different colors. So that's the blue full brightness, medium brightness, low, and off. So that's full brightness blue, full brightness white. 
So that's compared. Now, if we want to, I don't know if we can, I got to cover this up. We can do the full brightness purple as well. Let me see. So there's the full brightness purple right there. All three colors that I have today to show off. So these two are the brightest. These two I'm going to use. These I might use in a different area. But let, let's go get these hooked up. Can't wait to show you what it looks like at night. All right, here I am out in the backyard. There's our backyard back porch screen area right there and these are the palm trees right here the sections of palm trees I want to light up I want to shine those uh, lights up right underneath the canopy of the palm trees if I get back here you can see a little better so if you see there I've got them mounted to my fence post right now it's going to be shining upwards all those lights shine upward on the canopy of those palms so at night it's going to have that nice palm tree glow right up there and i mounted these to the lamp post or the fence post right here and i didn't want to drill holes in there so i used uh i drilled holes into the plastic uh, swivel mount and then used nylon tie straps to mount them on the top post right here and I like how I put them right here the Sun is right behind me it goes over this way every day during the late summer it's like almost straight ahead so I can adjust these so during this season even though they're angled that's okay it's still shining the light up where I need it but it's aiming the solar panel towards the Sun for about five six hours a day and then when the Sun gets straight ahead later on in the season I can just come out here and readjust, re-aim this because it's on a swivel mount. And that's what I told you, that's what makes these so unique because most of them, they just go up and down like that and they don't swivel. So you can't tilt them toward the sun if you need to. So this way we can with this brand. Okay, one other thing, it, I always use these on the high setting I mean, you're buying them for the most LEDs, 40 LED uh, lights in each one. I want it as bright as can be because it's got to reach way up there. I didn't buy these for the medium or low setting. So on the high setting, it advertised about eight hours after the sun goes down, which is plenty of time. I'll be in bed asleep before that eight hours is up. Uh, if you use it, if you want to use it on the medium or lower setting, you can get upwards of over 20 hours, I believe after the sun goes down so they'll be going off when the sun comes back up the next morning but then they're dim you know maybe for walkways or something but like i said these are spotlights so make sure you're buying them for the brightest purpose in my case that's what i'm doing so i'm going to show you how i mounted these very simple if you want to do it this way but uh also of course like i said it comes with that stake mount so if we come down here and take a look, here's our lamp on the swivel bracket. You can always use the stake mount. Just put it in your ground like that and point it up at the tree. But I thought in my case, I've got two golden retrievers running around here. This is their play yard. They will knock these all around my landscaper when he comes back here trimming. He'll be tripping over them. So I'm going to put them up and away so they don't get knocked or anything like that. And they're nice and safe. And they're closer to the tops of the trees that I want to light up. So that's my purpose why I'm not mounting them in the ground with a stake like this. All right, so this is the white one I'm going to mount first. I'm going to drill two holes here in the bottom of this pivot bracket. And a drill bit goes through really easy. Go through both sides, just like that. Do the next side. Just like that. Now I've got two mounting holes. And with those two mounting holes, I can use these nylon straps and stick them through 
You get two of these, just like that. I got my two nylon straps here, and I'm gonna put it up, mount it to the fence post. So I'm just gonna zip tie these on here, one at a time. Just wrap them around. Now I like these fence posts because there's an angled section on the back side here. So I can kind of get that light angled up just a little more. And it's nice and secure. It's wiggling the whole fence line. So just make sure you pull these as tight as you can with a pair of pliers. And then just snip off the excess. So that's my unique mounting method in my certain situation. Now, this is a white one. So I'm figuring the distance can go further. I'm gonna uh, point it up at this other palm tree that's back another few feet. See if it will reach that. And I'm gonna tilt it towards the sun. This season, the sun is over that way. And point it up and over that way. And I'm gonna do the same with another blue one on this next post right here. Zip tie method is a lot easier to do and it's not as permanent so if something happened to these and I had to replace them I won't have screw holes in my fence post all right I've already got these turned on so we're gonna come back out here later tonight but first I want to aim this this is gonna be the blue one I want to get remember the top solar panel towards the Sun but keep it aimed up there That should do it. All right, let's go check this out, guys. And go out the screen porch here. There's the lights up there. Let's take a closer look. Very bright. And it's hard to look at these things very close. Here's the blue ones I told you. These were like the second brightest. next blue one and then the final white one pointing over toward the palm tree over there now we're gonna get some better views of this in just a minute let me get outside the gate here <clears throat> there we go guys nice I see the palm trees lit up I noticed white and blue and I'm not sure how good this camera is picking up on this so I'm gonna bring you up a little bit closer but it's really crisp I'm gonna take some pictures too just to, so you can compare them to the video but uh, it's very clearly lit up and I'm sure you'd see it from across the lake very well and the camera uh, video camera view right here it looks like mostly blue and I'm seeing that it looks like mostly white lit up and all the palm canopy is lit up as well. Very happy with the uh, progress I made today on this project. And I hope you guys have fun as well. And guys, thank you again for joining me on another one of my videos. And guys, I'll see you on the next one.